Joe Biden and many American educators claim that we need more for our students and our children to learn about American civics, which of course talks about the rights and responsibilities of being an American citizen. Much of this, of course, derives from the United States Constitution. My question is, in light of this, doesn't this mean that we as Americans have a duty and an obligation to teach children about the right to keep and bear arms? Stay tuned. Hey folks, I'm Mark Smith, host of The Four Boxes, diner, proud American gun owner, constitutional attorney, member of the United States Supreme Court Bar, and best-selling author. If you have not subscribed to the Four Boxes Diner Second Amendment channel and follow us on various social media accounts, shame on you, but please do so now. We'd appreciate it, spreading the word about the right to keep and bear arms. Okay, folks, this is a quick one. I've been noticing a lot of rhetoric and discussions by Joe Biden and other people in the press about the importance of American civics in teaching our children American civics because it's very important for them to learn this. And I, I would agree with that. Uh, it's very important for our children and our students to learn about the rights and the responsibilities of being an American citizen, including but not limited to, of course, how our United States constitutional democracy, our republic, works, including, of course, every single component of the Bill of Rights. Now, this seems like a general good proposition that we can all agree upon. But what's interesting is, if you go out there on Twitter and social media and you look at some of the comments made by the anti-gun left, they, of course, don't want children to learn about guns. They're like, no, you shouldn't talk about guns with children. You shouldn't discuss the right to keep and bear arms. My question is, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's entirely inconsistent with the goal of American civics education. Because if you want to teach children and students about the rights and responsibilities of being a full-blown American so they can participate fully in American civil life, that doesn't mean you just teach them the First Amendment that they have the right to speak out and say stupid stuff they know nothing about. They have their right, yes, but that's not the only thing the Bill of Rights protects. It protects many other things, including the right to keep and bear arms. In fact, I am encouraging all of you, when you deal with your children, your grandchildren, you know, friends of yours, if you're looking at school curriculums, if you want to make sure they're learning everything right, do not forget that in the Second Amendment, the right, the, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, Arms is actually in the Constitution. It's expressly mentioned. And this is very important because as I see it, if you really want to teach American history, which Joe Biden and the leftists in the Department of Education claim they want to teach American history and American civics more robustly, and I'll put a link to one of the White House white papers on the topic, you make sure in your communities that part of that includes firearm education and American citizen, American civics, including the United States Constitution, because you can't teach our American constitutional form of government unless you talk about the U.S. Constitution. There's no other way to do it. You make sure they do not ignore the right of the people to keep and bear arms because the word arms does in fact appear in the Constitution and you make sure that people know that. That's on you because you're out there and I'm here doing my thing. But of course, you guys are much more influential and know a lot more people and more connected than I am. And that's why I don't want you to forget this little lesson today that every time someone talks about American education, about American civics, you make sure that they're talking about the entire Constitution and all of the Bill of Rights, including, of course, the Second Amendment. Not just the Second Amendment, but make sure they include the Second Amendment along with all the other rights, because that's as, as, as much a part of American history, American tradition, and American life as any other aspect of the Constitution or Bill of Rights. Okay, I hope you learned a little bit something here today at the Four Boxes Diner. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we'll get, see you again soon here at the Four Boxes Diner. Orders up, table 2A.